2K Sports and the Corn Ferry Tour are delighted to present today's event. Today's coverage of the Haven Championship is about to begin. G'day mates, Luke Elvey here alongside Rich Boom, and we're basking in the beauty of this course here in the delightful Tahitian Escape Bridge. What does this opening hole par five have in score for the players this week? Luke, for the backs, it's 5-5-5 five, 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 and a nice tee shot will allow pretty much every player to go for this green at two. Second shot will play straight downhill. I, I got to say, I've seen a lot of golf courses in my lifetime, Luke. The second shot on this par five is absolutely astounding. I love this opening hole. Well, it's all promising to be a good day. Can't wait to see what happens. Not bad. Time for the second shot into the first. Well, that's showcasing their power there, Rich. Using all of his muscles to get that one home in two. That is hunting for the hole. Oh, what a big punt to make that one. Cannot imagine a better way to start their round off with an opening eagle. That shot's so good, we need to have another look. I need to see this again because I still can't believe they hold that. He's currently sitting in third. Let's see what happens here on the second hole. An eagle on the last hole for this player. Let's see if they can't build on the momentum they've created. Going with the 9-iron, nine nine, I think. This one is all over it. Oh, that's a great shot. It sets up a wonderful birdie look here at the second. And there's no movement on the leaderboard after that hole. Welcome to this hole. That's a par four. Could not be more perfect. Second shot here on the third. Needs a little ground help to the left. Yeah, well played. Birdie at the last. This for another. 13 feet to the hole. This for a birdie birdie run. Oh, look who's getting on a roll now. That's back to back birdies. That hole looks double the size for this player this week. Nicely played. Moving on up the leaderboard now after that hole.
We're back along the beach here at Tahitian Escape, the fourth hole, Rich. Long par four and sand, sand everywhere. What a spectacular setting this hole is. You find the fairway, second shot is gonna be a little bit downhill, surrounded by what? More sand? You don't say here in Tahiti. What a spectacular hole this is. Nicely done. Playing from around 210 yards here. Just one shot back now. Oh, what a shot that was. Right at it. Always nice when you can just go ahead and tap one in for birdie. He's currently tied for first. We have a par three on this one. Looks to have chosen the seven iron. Yeah, good swing. This one's heading up onto the green for sure. Oh, what a lovely shot. He'll be delighted to be inside the range there. What's in front of them, Henny, with this putt? Yeah, he's staring down about 12 feet. Go on, get in the hole. And that's their fourth booty of the day. And that will move him to six under par. And after that hole, he's now alone at the top of the leaderboard. Always positive coming off a birdie. Let's see what happens here. This looks to be heading for the cut stuff. And Henny, what's he looking at here? Setting up this shot from about 120. This looks to be hit pretty well from where I'm standing. This is a ball striking clinic. Yet another green in reg here. Another green in regulation. This is an absolute clinic. A chance for a booty if this goes down. And this is quality play. Still on top of the leaderboard. Lovely momentum for this player after that booty at the last hole. Keep it rolling. Good shot there, Beamer. Two wins so far this season. Yeah, that one will play. And here we are with the third shot. He's got a two-stroke buffer. This would be a great up and down from this spot.
sitting at seven under par for the day. Currently in top spot. How close was that to going down? This one's for bogey. Well, the leader giving a little hope for the rest of the field there as they put down a bogey on the scorecard. Our leader is a couple of shots up at this stage. And now teeing off on this par four hole. Sometimes you hit some good ones, sometimes you hit some bad ones. Penny, how bad is this lie? Oh, some smiles here, a bit of luck in the second cut. It's sitting nicely. Looks to have opted for the eight iron. This one headed left. Looks like they pulled this one. That's a shame. Had a chance to hit the green, but couldn't quite get there. Not easy to find the green coming out of the rough. That's on the green and you never know what could happen. And if this can go down, he'll save par. Come on, ball, don't deny him. That's disappointing. Can't believe he did that. That drives you bonkers as a player. Now leading by one shot. And the closing hole on the outward nine at Tahitian Escape is a par four measuring 420 from the tips, Rich. Lay up short of those fairway bunkers, those cross bunkers there in the fairway. Second shot straight back up the hill. When the pin's in the back of the green, it's almost a completely blind second shot. Finding the green here in two, job well done. a boy good shot what kind of shot are they facing here Henny he's got mm, I'd say a solid 145 here choosing the nine iron here oh look at this right down the throat well, that'll be one of the shots of the day, that's for sure. Yeah, nice looking shot there. And a fantastic look upcoming. Putting for birdie here. You know, it's not if you make bogeys, it's how you respond. Well done. And that will take him to six under. Here we go, Rich. In the lead, late in the championship. It's exciting. Yeah, no time to start thinking about that lead, Luke. they got to keep their head down and keep going forward. Cannot think about that lead or people will pass them. What a bad line, this one. Second shot here on the 10th hole.
Looks like this one's bunker bound. Well, there's the line, the green side bunker. Can they get this one up and down? Close was that to going in the hole. Great shot. Trying to get it to seven under par with this putt. All right, guys. This for two birdies in a row. Oh, yeah, this is tracking nicely. Never mind. Go and tap it in. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. Time to tee off on the 11th. Quality shot that one from about 130 yards here. Currently in the lead by a shot. Needs this to kick a bit left. Oh, that's a great shot and a birdie opportunity coming up here at the 11th. And they've been rolling the ball great today. Another great look. Currently seven under for the round. Oh, I always love these holes. Here we have a par three. Going with the hybrid. Yeah, that one's looking good. Yeah, nicely played. Looking for back-to-back -back birdies here, Luke. 13 feet to the cup. Their short game today has been absolutely sublime fun to watch. Just didn't drop. This is a par putt. Unable to take advantage of the great approach there, Rich. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. Now a par five hole awaits. Time for the second shot here at the 13th. Nicely done. 
Henny, you've had the chance to have a look over this one? This is downhill. Can't be too bold. Looking really good, this one. Oh, that would have been outstanding to make the eagle. Now, four shots up after that hole. And coming off the birdie, they'll be proud of themselves, a chance to keep it rolling. Well struck. And Henny, what's he facing with this one? Setting up here from about 165 yards. And choosing the eight iron here. This one looks to be on a pretty good line. That's an absolute ripper. What a shot. That would be back-to-back -back birdies for this player. Oh, these are big momentum putts. Let's make this one from nine feet. This is what they have left for birdie here. It's on a great line. Well, you're going to be hard to catch now if you keep making putts like that. Two in a row there, Luke, getting their groove on. That's nine under par for the round. Quite often the hardest hole in golf, a long par four. Oh, golf clap, that's a beauty. And he's down there. I'd say he's about 165 from this flag. Going with the seven. This is looking pretty good in the air. That's a great shot here at the 15th. It sets up a look for birdie. Of all the shots that I like the most, that one ranks right up there. Four feet to the cup. Yep, tracking nicely. He's currently sitting in first place. Three holes remaining. This is what it's all about. Time to see who is going to get it done. Now on the tee after a birdie. Fired up and ready for more. Opting for the 9 iron. Well, you can see why he's leading. That was a shot of high caliber. It's amazing to see how good this player is in full flow. Always well, nice to have a birdie putt. Well played. Our current leader is enjoying a seven-stroke advantage. Two holes to go, Luke. Can they hang on? And the penultimate hole at Tahitian Escape is another one of those risk-reward par fours. A hole that you are just hoping that the wind is helping just a little bit, straight back up the hill, just a couple of little 
bunkers there that you don't really want to find. But even if you do, the way this green is sloped, everything kind of seems to run right towards the middle. This is a fantastic opportunity for birdie, certainly more than likely an eagle to. Oh, what a shot by our leader. I really leaned on that tee shot. That went forever. Oh, that was tidy. That should ensure the up and down. Got to say, his short game is phenomenal. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard after that. And a chance to ice the tournament here. Holding the lead, playing the last. Looks like they put a good pass on that one. Well, that's right out of the top drawer. A great shot from our leader. Wow, was that a massive drive there. Holy cow. Opting for the six iron. Look at the line on this one. Get in the hole. Oh, almost went in. Oh, that's outstanding. Another great shot by our leader. And I tell you, you just dream about days like today. Greens and regulation spot on all day. Awesome. And this is why they put in hours and hours of practice. A putt to win it all. All right, one down. Let's see if they can take the next opportunity to close out the win. And that'll do it. Holds it for the win. Hat trick of victories now. Three of them. Got to say, this player is on fire. Well, another great day of action here at 2K Sports. On behalf of Rich Beam, the entire hardworking folks and team here, I'm Luke Elvey. We look forward to your company next time.